to prevent more tragedy. 美国总统拜登结束访问以色列后，十九号随即在白宫向美国人民发表讲话。拜登在演说中强调，哈马斯并不代表巴勒斯坦的人民。Hamas' stated purpose for existing is the destruction of the state of Israel and the murder of Jewish people. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses Palestinian civilians as human shields, and innocent Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. 拜登也向美国人民喊话，不要轻视世界各地发生的这些冲突。美国的盟友和对手都在密切关注乌克兰的局势。如果美国让步了的话，冲突和混乱可能会蔓延到其他地方，包括中东和印太地区。Beyond Europe, we know that our allies and maybe most importantly our adversaries and competitors are watching. The risk of conflict and chaos could spread in other parts of the world, in the Indo-Pacific, in the Middle East, especially. In the Middle East, when terrorists don't pay a price for their terror, when dictators don't pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos and death and more destruction. 不过，拜登也呼吁以色列不要在这次的事件中被愤怒蒙蔽了双眼。When America experienced the hell of 9/11, we felt enraged as well. While we sought and got justice, we made mistakes. So I caution the government of Israel not to be blinded by rage. And here in America, let us not forget who we are. We reject all forms, all forms of hate, whether against Muslim, Jews, or anyone. That's what great nations do, and we are a great nation. 拜登表示，他很快就会向国会提出一笔紧急预算要求，来为美国的重要伙伴提供支持。先前多家外媒报道，这笔预算将会是一整年的规模，金额可能高达一千亿美元。除了为美国的国家安全提供资金以外，也会对乌克兰、以色列和台湾进行军事援助。新唐人亚太电视陈辉模、李义宏综合报道。